Alright, so right. right. stay on your side of the room. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi guys. I'm Destiny. I'm Sean. We've been friends for over a decade. And we grew up liking different stuff. And sometimes the same stuff. And now we're watching stuff. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to Fan Fiction. And today we're going to be continuing on with uh, The Witcher 3, all in-game cinematics. And um, are you looking forward to this? I mean, as always. As always, as of always. course. Yeah. So she's obviously so excited we can't help us start. <laughs> I mean, how much outward emotion does a person need to show? No. So, uh, it's a reaction video, so mm. it's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get this uh, started. Oh, I forgot about the soul of the dead baby. To purge. Thank you, Dan. Go in peace. Always rocking that sick kind of Come on. Hmm. You. Me? No, me. Really. Remember me? Bad Volka? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. Yeah. I'm grateful. Oh, yeah, I remember this. You uh, had a choice of pull a guy like from the fire in the middle of like a, a bunch of barns or burning or something. Alright then. Not bad. A baron schmarin, so not you. Oh. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant, left over from my army days, you understand. Still when wearing. me and Philip, the men in the baron, served under a Temerian banner, wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. God. Nosy? Spends a lot of time sitting there, the place. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There's a vampire yeah, checking mates. Slurping peasant blood. He bites up a barren blood. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And then, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. It's this is kind of your fault, though. Right? Well, let's go inside. You should do it, but... It's chilly. I mean, even so, it's the result of your actions. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Huh. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. Mm. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I've done my part. You've got to <laughs> There's got to be someone you can send. You refuse to go? Mm -hmm. Fuck you! <laughs> Yet, if you're ever in the area, 
by chance even. Take this and just make sure she's all right. What is it? That was rude. A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damn hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. Oh, do we get some more Siri now? Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Yeah! Pure luck Ooh. in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, where he's still among the living. <laughs> Siri, come! I'll haunt you for yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where do they teach you that, anyway? Mm. A little here, a little there. Mm. Not surprising, given yeah, you one of the world alone. Warm. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot. Yeah, don't definitely. And I don't always Which happen you? upon such good just like, civil just company. Like. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. <laughs> this I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. Yeah, a she wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, oh, all right. Back. Stay on your side of the room. Tiger. Could swing a tiger. tiger. Yeah. <laughs> but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. You want to go have the honest? Perhaps you'd care to wager. <laughs> Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. Ah. To race the Baron himself. I consider it an honour. Oh, that'd be a sight to be old. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. Really? I'd not the drink any more this night. You don't want your head about you. Until we start at daybreak. He really thinks he can be hurt? <laughs> Maybe we don't know, you know, before um, he got, like, real uh, chunky. He might have been a real... Guy. But now he's chunky, okay? I don't know what it's like to be a guy so full of confidence. My man knows his right. Guy Dawns! Ready? Sever, first one to the tower. Man chop! She's like, come on, silly, don't you embarrass us? I never have problems in these kind of games. You're I just, so yeah, immediately cut them off and then just right. go. Be the day. Unless they got that stupid uh, yo yo tech like from uh, Mario Kart. Ah! Where you, don't, don't matter what you do to them, by the time you get to the end, you're just like, what's that? I'm like, how are you with my rear view? Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Ah! Nah, he's, he's a short fucker. He's only got quick sprints. Oh god, he's got. Oh. I was say, did you really just lose to this? Oh my gosh, you she... fail. Sure. I was gonna say, she like. Congratulations. 
Of course it's going to work. But to you, bid your sword farewell. I await my reward. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Oh, I know that look. Did she, she like, like berserk? You'll know the rest once you find my wife. What? Working on it. What kind of horseshit? Piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. So long went. How can he just leave you on a cliffhanger like that? So rude. <laughs> My man knows how to like really work the system. Like, oh, 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 you want to you know the rest of the story, don't you? Yeah, real good. Set it up real nice. Go find my wife. You know that thing he said you wouldn't do. Oh, remember in the movie? Remember, like he like throws a rock and everything like that. Just sitting here, right from the shop. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. <laughs> <laughs> a plague? No, no, it's just, it's just a rule. <laughs> we just have rules here. Is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, Always a chance some spy will sling through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Uh -huh. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens. There's a so department. <laughs> you may come through. So much better your bureaucracy. Oh, you, think, you think I want to deal with politics? It's raining. We're getting wet. You have me. A little water doesn't bother me. Wow. Just make you real uncomfortable. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Good lad. Will you, though? Don't dawdle. Meow. Who's a kitty? Who's a good kitty? You are. Who's a good kitty? You don't so like cats. Me. And who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Best than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my huh. father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that?
Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire. A priest helped me contact the Rodanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. Who? <laughs> I don't care. Never heard of him. <laughs> I won't go back to him. That bit of my life. Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Oh, Never well. thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. No one said that. I appreciate No one says that. <laughs> you will fail in your task. <laughs> <laughs> no one said I was here to fetch her. Rude. <laughs> Just talk. Assumes. Noble of you. Sound like a killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case... Good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. Well, I will certainly like your little get up, that's for sure. So interesting that they're uh, going to be doing uh, that with. <laughs> He's like, you want me to string you a little bit further, further along in the story? So some religious paladins mm -hmm. are also out looking for the mom. Witch hunters. Witch hunters. Mm -hmm. Witch hunters, witchers. And it seems like this mom is getting a whole bunch of... Uh... But so, whatever took her mm -hmm. has got to be bad. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, what what's, uh, took her? What's snapping off treetops, you know? And, and like, scream so loud it makes your nose bleed? That's pretty hardcore. My nose itched for a while after she said that. I couldn't take it. It got into my brain. I was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I uh, set off a car alarm the other day. They said it, you know, I had. It was terrible. <laughs> so imagine. Imagine. Imagine just making a nosebleed. Want to know when we're going to see the wild hunt again? Oh, we have completely <laughs> forgotten about. Hunt. But we did get Siri in this episode. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah. but at one point in the story, are we going to be? Ha it's going. It's going to be the whole gang reunited. Like. I I guess we'll have to get there and find out. <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go ahead and uh we'll see you guys on the next uh video make sure you hit those uh, like subscribe and comments you know we love all those algorithms but only if you feel like it honestly no one is forcing you to do it we'll see you guys later bye